Hey everybody, we're gonna be making a quick video about um, making a vegan mushroom steak and what that looks like. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking. So I did spray my pan, but that's not what I'm gonna cook it with. I'm using a plant-based butter that, I don't even know what brand it is. It's not one that I typically use. I was in the store and I picked it up because I needed it. But I am gonna use a plant-based butter to cook these in. I'm gonna let that melt for just a couple of minutes here or however long it takes. Turn this on low. I did let the mushrooms marinate for about 30 minutes. Then I'm gonna put them in the pan and just let them kind of cook. Now, if I were gonna put them on the grill, I would actually, me personally, I would go ahead and cook them the way I'm doing them. And then I would throw them on the grill for a few minutes. Um, but being that I'm not cooking on a grill today, I won't be doing that. So, with the mushrooms, even though they marinated, I did rotate them a few times so that I could try my best to get the marinade on all of them. Now, you can choose to marinate yours a lot longer than what I did, but we have somewhere to go and we need to eat. So I'm gonna go ahead and get cooking with these. The juice from the marinade, I will be keeping it and I will be pouring it over top as they are cooking. Now that they're in the pan, I'm gonna put my lid on and let it marinate or cook for a little while. It's been 10 minutes and I'm gonna flip these over and cook them for 10 more minutes on the opposite side. Trying to get a little sample, but it won't let me get it off of there. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna put my lid back on and let it cook a little bit longer. So it's been another 10 minutes. I'm gonna take the lid off again. And you can see they are getting brown and look like they're, um, you know, shrinking in size. So you can choose to kind of mash them down. I'm not gonna go through all that today, but I am going to I have the wrong tongs today. I'm gonna to try to turn these back over again. And I'm gonna let them just cook a little bit longer. I'm gonna kind of rotate them in the pot a little bit. And I'm just gonna add the rest of the saute to it, the juice that I had. I'm just gonna add that in there now. Oops. And let it cook for about another five minutes. And again, they are probably done at this point, but I'm just gonna let them saute a little bit longer. And I'm gonna get my onion, cut it up and put it in there at this point. All right, let me put my onions in. So I am so sorry. I had to kind of start my cooking over because we had tornado sirens. We live in Missouri, so it's that time of year for us. Um, so I'm probably being bad because I came back upstairs because there was no sirens going off. And so as soon as they come back off, I'll go back in the basement. Crazy life I live. And like I said, I'm going to let these cook for about five minutes and then I'm going to be done with these. All right, we're gonna cut this out. We're gonna, we're gonna cut that. Can you lift it up? Let's take a look at what it looks like on the inside. The other way. 
Okay. All right, go ahead and let's taste it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's good. Well, good. You like it? Mm -hmm. Best you've had with the portobello steaks? Mm -hmm. All right. Worth trying this recipe? Yes, I give it two thumbs up. Okay. Hey, so we're about to uh, check out this um, vegan steak made from portobello uh, mushroom. Okay, let's see what's going on with this. Man, this is good. Sorry, that's our guinea pigs in the background. So let me say this. <clears throat> For those of you who don't eat portobello mushrooms, you need them in your life. Portobello mushrooms have a really meaty taste. So they're a really good um, meat substitute for making certain things, such as uh, vegan steak, vegan Reuben, which we've done. Um, but this is awesome. So definitely <clears throat> try the recipe. Um, you will love it. I approve this message. So um, other than that, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave any comments below. Uh, please hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever this new content uh, that we have available for you. All right. Good night and God bless.